What's up traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol BB for BlackBerry Limited. On the left hand side we're looking at the daily time frame and on the right hand side the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, we have not covered this one yet on the channel, so there's a few things to do. Firstly, let's give ourselves a quick daily roadmap of just obvious areas of support and resistance. Then we'll talk some more nuance from the 30-minute perspective, as well as address the fact that they gave us an earnings announcement after the bell today. So let's flip on the extended hours session and see what's going on with the number. So immediately, you can see that we are going to be opening very likely on a large gap higher. But note that the overnight high is way up here and that the open is likely going to be lower than that right so for the sake of today's video we'll say that the opening print will be down here around 10 15 but do note a lot can happen between now and 9 30 when the bell actually rings what we're about to discuss is a framework that we can use to navigate this gap up and the first thing that we need to consider let's actually look from the daily perspective uh, it'll be easier to understand here um, the first thing we need to consider whenever we're dealing with a gap is the possibility for a gap and trap or a gap and go the gap and trap would unfold like this right if we open here fail to take out the overnight high which remember is simply up here towards that 10 uh, 68 mark and then trade back down through the open you're looking for the gap to fill to the prior day's high and that area would be right around our nine dollar and 78 cent mark but think about this for a moment as these two numbers get potentially further and further away it's going to decrease the uh you know the e easiness isn't a word, right? But the 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 ease that you'd be able to pull this trade off, right? Because technically, right, our risk reward isn't so much in play here. If if technically we make a move higher, do something like this, then fine, right? Your risk goes here. But if we do move all the way to the overnight high, never take it out and retrace, then are you really going to risk this? to make just the gap fill, that's like less than a one to one. So again, as these two numbers separate, it makes the trade more difficult to pull off. As these two numbers get closer together, the open as well as the uh, overnight high, it makes the trade easier to pull off, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, and again, by the time 9.30 rolls around, maybe the open will be here, right? And you have something like this, open, fail to take it out, trade lower for the gap fill like that. I don't know how it's gonna unfold, but that's the framework that we use. The flip side of this coin, of course, and the one I'm sure a lot more people are rooting for here is upside continuation or the gap and go. So if we open here again, just noting 1015 is the substitute for now, make a move to the pre-market high, put in some type of bull pattern, whether or not it's a bull flag, uh, some sort of weak pressure cooker top area, basically any bullish patterns that press up into the overnight high. We're looking for a break of the overnight high to take us into the next obvious area of daily uh, resistance, which is way up here at $11.69. Now, am I saying that it has to do that all in one day? I mean, it, it could do that, but is it likely going to put in a candle? Oops, let me redraw that. Remembering that the open is theoretically down here. Is the daily candle really going to look like that? I'm not overly convinced, right? There is some decent range. You can see that as evident from this green here. Uh, but again, this is asking a little bit much compared to what the typical range is inside of BlackBerry here. So those are my thoughts. It's really going to come down to where is the open in relationship to that overnight high and what is going to happen with either the gap and trap or the gap and go. So those are my thoughts. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new, definitely let me know down below in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.